I'm getting close to like 32. I am, I don't know if you. Okay, Molly, sit. You're gonna be in the video with me. Look, I sit down. Sit down. Okay. All right, so Molly's gonna be in the video with my dog Hey, okay, so this is 13 weeks. 12 or 13, somewhere in there. So thanks for joining me today. Yeah, last week was 12 weeks and I went to the doctor appointment and I will tell you guys about that. But it's just been so busy at the salon and we're trying to do the pregnancy vlogs every Friday. We'll try to get back to that. So daddy I won't be able to be in the video with me today, but I was like, I need to get a pregnancy vlog up. I need to give an update and get you guys going and know what's going on and doctor's appointment and all that kind of stuff. And my belly is getting bigger. So this baby is growing. And it's still so crazy to me that I'm pregnant and so crazy. But now I'm 13 weeks like today. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do this one as 13 weeks and then we'll get back to the regular schedule next week. Hopefully daddy will be in the video with me because he makes it fun and he's just so funny and he just always has cute little questions. I just love it. So cute. So anyways, yeah, so doctor's appointment went really good. I am 116 now. I think I started at like 112. So I was like four pounds in a month. But I, my weight has always fluctuated from 110 to 120. Like I don't even keep up with it. I don't keep up with my weight. Like I work out every week. I try to eat healthy and I just end up staying healthy and staying at a good weight that way. But I never really weigh, like keep up with my weight. With pregnancy, I think Kinsley and Claire got like 140, maybe up to 140, close to that. So that's probably what I'll do again. I feel like I steadily get, you know, a little bit heavier throughout. And that's okay. I'm growing a baby. So you're supposed to gain weight. So that's good. But I am going to try to keep up my workouts like regular, like I've been doing. I go like two to three times a week and to the gym and all that. And just try to, I'm trying to walk more. Uh, I'm still doing my weights, but I'm doing my same weights. I'm not doing any heavier. Some things I'm doing lighter because I'm starting to feel like, okay, I feel like this is too much, so I'm trying to do a little bit less. And then when I get on the elliptical and run, I usually run like 10, 15 minutes, and sometimes I'll try to run, run like 20, a little bit longer. So that's going great. I've still been able to do the same stuff, maybe just a little bit less in this far as I go along, I'll just keep doing the same thing. But I am curious when I go, like when my belly gets bigger, because I am starting to wonder people, like, if they look at me and they're like, she has a belly, like, I wonder if she's pregnant and she's at the gym. Like, you know, because you don't see that a lot. I've not seen, like, since I've been to the gym, I've seen, like, maybe two pregnant women in the gym. So it's just really rare to see a pregnant woman at the gym. So I just feel my belly gets bigger, like, people that looking at me like why is she at the gym kind of thing but it's really a good thing to do when you're pregnant and to keep up with your same workouts and all that so oh uh, yeah so the heartbeat was 160 which I felt like was kind of higher than before at the ultrasound I think it was lower I think it was like 130 or something I can't remember but anyways whenever she was trying to find the heartbeat because it was so early because I was like 11 weeks then then she was having a hard time trying to find it she's like don't worry don't worry you know it takes a little while because baby's still really little and all that. She kept getting my heartbeat and I thought that was the baby's heartbeat. She's like, no, that's your heartbeat. She's like, we'll keep searching and looking and looking. And finally she found it and it was really strong on what she found it. She's like, whoa, there it is. And she was like, it's 160 and that was really good. I usually say the higher heartbeat is a girl and a lower heartbeat is a boy. So if I was saying boy, then I was saying girl and that happens. I was like, I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like a lot of people keep asking, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? And I have no I did because Kinsley, I was really sick, and Claire, I wasn't sick at all. And this time I've been like a little in between, like I've been a little nauseous. I feel like especially when I eat a lot or something, I'm just like, uh, like I just don't feel like eating a lot. And then when I do eat a lot, I'm just like, wow, I ate way too much, and I just feel like you know. So it just kind of goes back and forth. But with my family and all, and that what I've heard is you're not really sick with boys and you're sick with girls. But then I wasn't sick with Claire, and she was a girl, and so this time I haven't really been sick. And so I would say boy, but then I'm like, I don't know, it could be the same with Claire. So it could be another girl. So I have no idea. I don't know. I really want to do all the gender prediction kind of things and the wobtails and see what they say. The time I go to my next appointment, which is in like two more weeks, I think. And it's going to be in the morning, and Joel's going to go with me that morning. So we're going to go to that one, and then after that appointment, they're going to tell us when we'll come back and do the gender ultrasound and all that kind of 
big checkup ultrasound and everything so we'll know when when we find out the gender then that's so crazy like i just feel like that's taking forever to get here because we just want to know and it's just like taking forever to get here i think it'll be in april sometime about another month so so that'll be good okay so when we after we go to this appointment and when we have when we're just really anxious to get to the ultrasound that's when we'll probably do the predictions test because i know you guys have asked me to do the ring test and some of the prediction tests because you guys are really curious what it's going to say to you so we'll probably do that then ah i'm so excited i don't know what it is i just want to know already it's just crazy to think if we have three girls or if we finally get our boy like that's i don't know so excited! She, the doctor also said, and I did talk about this in the vlog whenever I did go to my appointment, so you guys have probably, a lot of you have probably already seen this, but she did say that she'd had some of her patients when they come in to see her ask if she was actually the doctor that was in my video for the birth of Claire and if she was the doctor that delivered Claire. And I thought that was really cool that you guys were curious and like knew that was her, so that was really cool. But. Anyways, and of course we're going to film this time. I don't know how it's going to go. I'd love to do like a water birth. And I talked to her about doing a water birth. And she said that at the hospital they do allow you to get in the bathtub or shower when you're laboring. But once you're actually in labor and like pushing and everything, that they like you to be on the bed or whatever. So they do let you labor in the water, but they don't let you actually have the baby in the water. Which I actually think that's okay. I mean, because Claire... I mean, that's pretty much what I did. I got in the shower when I started having contractions and stuff, and I just stayed in there forever and ever and ever. And then once I got out and we got ready to go, went to the hospital, and it was time for her. It was just so quick. If you haven't seen my birth video yet with Claire, it was so crazy and so fast. So if you want to go check it out, I mean, I feel like this time it's going to either be quicker or it's going to be about the same. So I'm thinking, you know, it'll probably be similar, but I'm just... I was going to talk to a midwife and see about a water birth, but I just don't know, I don't know like how comfortable I feel with that because I'm just used to, I already know what to expect and the hospital is like right here. So it's like, and I'm used to my doctors and going to that um, doctor's office and everything. So I just feel like why not just, if it went good last time, why not just keep doing the same thing, you know, then trying to change it up and be like, I don't know what's going to happen and I'm scared and more nervous. I think I'll just be more calm and know what to expect if it's like the same, kind of the same situation, you know. But of course it could be different. I mean, I was not expecting that at all with Claire. I was expecting it to be really long, the same as Kinsley's. And then this time it was totally different. So, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? Oh uh, yeah, guys. I am in my second trimester. That's crazy. How did it get here so fast? I feel like this pregnancy is going to fly by. Because it's summer, it's going to be springtime in the summer, and the baby's going to be here. Like, in the summer, always goes by so fast because you're having fun and going on vacation. And we have some trips coming up, and like, I feel like it's just going to go by so fast. But I just want to enjoy it as much as possible because if this is my last pregnancy, I just want to enjoy it and not, like, wish it away, you know, or just want the baby get here and just enjoy it this time. And I feel like I've always enjoyed it. I've always done great with pregnancy. It's always been a lot of fun, and I just all it's usually a smooth ride. I don't really have a lot of complications, so I just love it so much. I just want to enjoy it just in case because it could be my last one. I don't know. The baby is like the size of like a peach or a lemon now. And Kinsley and Claire, they're always wanting to talk to my belly. We keep trying to prepare Claire because Kinsley really knows what's going on. She always has these cute little comments and stuff like that. And lots of questions. They always ask some questions. But they're always wanting to like fill on my belly and talk to the baby and kiss the baby and that's just so cute. I think I'm gonna have two little helpers. Kinsley is gonna be really good. Like a like she's really getting to be my big girl now. I just cannot believe how big she's getting in kindergarten. She's just really grown up so much. And I feel like she really is gonna be like a really good help. And then Claire of course I think she's gonna be a great help too. I mean she loves babies. She loves baby dolls. We were at the park the other day there was a little baby in the stroller and she kept wanting to go look at the baby. She'd like go peek at the baby and she'd run off to play and she'd go back over there and I'm like I'm so sorry she's bothering me but she just loves babies and she just kept wanting to see the baby and then she'd like want to run off but she loves doing stuff with baby dolls. She always wants to change the baby dolls diapers and feed them and so I think she's gonna be a great big sister too. I can't believe they're both going to be big sisters now. 
because I never knew if we were going to have another one. So she's just always been my little baby, and now she's going to be a big girl too. It's so crazy. Oh my gosh. I think that's about it that I had her down. I'll show you my belly and my measurement because my belly is getting so big now. I really feel like it is. I'm going to look at my apps. I'm always looking at my apps to see like what's going on and what they say. I cannot believe the baby looks like this right now. I'll see if y'all can see that. I always love looking at these pictures to see what I, the baby looks like right now. But I'm like, that's crazy. I can't believe that's in my belly. Like that little baby. So crazy. Yeah, it's about three inches long. That's so crazy. So the baby is like, if I move, she's going to get up. But it's like this. Or about as big as my finger. That's so crazy. So, so crazy. Okay, I'm going to show my belly now. And hey guys, so this is going to be my belly for 13 weeks. I can't believe I'm 13 weeks in the second trimester. So crazy. Alright, so wearing my LuLaRue again, of course. Loving these. I'm probably going to be wearing these all pregnancy long. And I feel like I'm doing these in the mornings. But my belly at night ends up getting like so big. <laughs> I guess just after the day and eating all day and everything. Ah, I'm getting close to like 32. I am, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... I'm close to 31 and a half. Getting close to 32. That's crazy. I thought last time I measured I was at 30. I have to suck in now to get to 30. Ah, that's hard to do. Okay. So, we're at like 31 and a half. Gosh, I feel like I grew a lot since the last time I saw you guys. So crazy. That's my belly. Baby's growing in there. Yep. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. Check out our daily vlogs. We vlog every day, and that's a lot of fun. And check out my website, Hair Sales Heather, if you haven't checked that out yet. There's lots of videos, and like my videos are organized and everything. And you can send me video requests, or if you have any questions for us, or anything like that. And yeah, so stay tuned because we'll have more pregnancy vlogs coming up. And I will see you guys soon. Hope you have a great day. And we'll talk to you later. Bye!